All right, guys, I'm gonna try and keep this video short as well. This is the same 07 Toyota Sequoia that we put the marker light in in another video. Uh, we're switching it from a regular Delaware license plate to one of the black porcelain ones. These things are really heavy. Um, now, a problem that Toyota is known for is the nuts. They're actually called nut certs. They're, <clears throat> they're like a rivet, sort of. I'll show you what they look like in a bit. That are made into this lift gate. That's steel back there. This here is plastic. But that's steel, and that's what they're into. They spin. I was lucky to even be able to get the bolts out. A lot of times you have to cut them. What I've got to do now is take the trim panel off the inside and gain access to this. I'll show you as we as we go. Okay, I got to take this trim panel off. <laughs> I only need to get to right here, but the way this thing's put together, I've got to start taking it apart all the way up here. Got my trusty red handle clip tool. You see that on camera, guys. That was already broke. I didn't do it. We'll get that fixed. Actually, it just, a couple of the clips fell out. But it had been like that. Okay. Now there's a bolt under here I'm going to have to take out. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Take that out. Got my red handle. Clip tool again. I think we're gonna have to start down here. You don't want to just go snatching on this stuff. This thing's got some age to it now. Okay, and then it pushes up. This There we go. It pushes up guys, because that rear window goes up and down in this thing, and that's a weather strip. And uh, it tucks down in there. Okay, I have had more of these Toyota tailgates apart than I care to think about. Now what I've got the trim panel off, I've got to take this access panel off. And you see all these wires that go to it? Uh, another problem with these things is these back windows malfunction a lot. These are 10 millimeter screws. I'm making quick work of it with this little impact. Somebody's already had this one off, which, like I said, they've got problems with these things. Now. Now, there is couple push clips that hold it in place just for like manufacturing and for doing what I just did so we're gonna get my uh, trusty red handle clip tool they came out now this thing's gonna kind of hang on these wires oh, one more bolt over here all right there that's can safely hang it doesn't weigh anything it's not hurting anything that can sit there <laughs> and now expose the whole, the whole inside. Hey guys, if you can see, that is the lock cylinder, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try and point to it. That thing right there is the lock cylinder. Lock cylinder means the key, the lock. And if you can tell, I'm trying to get this phone to focus here. There's a 10 millimeter nut that's got to come off in order to get get to what we need to now if you remember what we're trying to do is trying to get let me move this around we're trying to get this off so it's held on is this they're not bolts they're push clips they're heavy duty that's why we had to take this cover off here that's why we had to take this whole cover off i've got to squeeze these together with a pair of pliers or my fingers and push this, push them out. Um, I really can't film it and you won't really need to see it. After I get it out, I'll show it to you to make sense. Okay, this is the pocket, or the license plate pocket. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, let me get right down here. You can see, 
see those clips? What I had to do was you had to squeeze them together and I used what else but my trusty red handle clip tool to squeeze those together. Now, they came right through. Now, let me find an easy one to see. That hole there, that's one. That's one. I couldn't film getting them out because you, you wouldn't have been able to see anything but my hands. There's one. That's where the lock came through. And then um, I had the only thing wire wise is I had to undo the pigtail. This is called a pigtail. These are the, the tag lights. That's what lights up your license plate. Okay. You just push that button down and that, that un comes unplugged. All right. What I was able to do here, guys, um, these weren't in there with a certain nut like I was expecting. Um, there is actually a nut that's spot welded to the inside of this from the inside. And what I've done is I've, I've already tapped when that, when that mean, what that means is this is a tap. I run it through there and I'm cutting new threads in there for a bolt that's one size bigger. Um, this bolt is one size bigger than what was in there. And um, that's what was in there. So I've already tapped this hole and I'm gonna do this one on, on film. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. I've already sprayed some oil on the tap and I've already sprayed some oil in the hole. That bolt is such a, just barely bigger than the other one, so I'm not gonna actually have to drill the hole out. Sometimes you would have to drill the hole out. Now, there is an actual tap holder that they make, but I can't use it because the way this thing is recessed, it's too big to fit in there. So I'm just got a pair of vice grips on there. What I'm actually doing, guys, is I'm cutting new threads into that hole and I put the, the lube on there I go in a couple turns and back it out and you see those little there's grooves in between there that catches the little metal filings as it cuts new threads like I said this was just barely bigger actually what it is is just a standard bolt instead of a metric bolt and that's where the difference comes in so now now you can see the little bit of metal shavings in there. It's cut new new threads in there. So now this bolt should thread right on in there. Now we're gonna make sure it tightens up all the way and that uh, it doesn't strip out. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay. Pop her back together. All right. There we go. I'm gonna loosen this one back up. See, kind of twisted that rubber a little bit there. Hey, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna squirt a little bit of WD-40 behind it so it doesn't. Um, So it doesn't roll that thing up real quick. I'm gonna take a second here. There we go. Right. Let's try this again. There we go. Yeah. Well, guys, again, this is uh, one of those things, collision repair is about solving problems. It may not seem like that big of a deal. And in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have had to take the inside apart, but I also wouldn't have known what was behind it. If I had run that tap in there too far, I could have struck something because this window goes up and down. Also, if I'd have had to put a bigger hole in it, I would have had to drill it, and then definitely, if I'd have had to take a drill bit, I would have definitely had to find out what's behind there. So, again, just another little project of stuff we do in here, and I um, hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something from it.